Hello everyone, welcome back. Happy twenty happy new year. Well it's 2024 already. <laughs> yes guys, it is 2024. It is a new year and it's also a brand new Broku. I was too tired last month to post a lot of videos, so I want to so I want to say thank you all for the love and support. Also, thank you for getting those lightsaber videos. I made up to 1K because the because crazy how that's crazy how the review got up to 1K and how the other one it's almost there. But it's, but thanks for all support and love. Also, we reached we reached 700 subscribers this year. Well, last year. Now our goal for this year is to reach a thousand. And with guys' help, I can do it. So, I am reviewing a figure that I was supposed to review three years ago, back when Kamen Rider Saber was on television in Japan. I forced it in at the time because one, I, one, I was a dumbass, did not pre-order the figure. Two, I was too lazy to find him. Three, also, uh, he was pretty expensive in the aftermarket. But with the help of my good friend Psycho, who showed me a website that was that that killed my wallet. Thanks, Psycho. This website called Shigura, I think it was. My friend Soundout used it for his video, so I'll put that in the link below. But uh, but my friend Psycho saw this website say they say that saying that uh, this website has like free shipping. I'm like, oh, it does. Okay, <laughs> I went on there, I placed an order for Caliber, and here we are, brand new everything. So yeah, I'm here to review the SA figure of Kamara Caliber, Jaku Dragon. Now, everyone, don't, don't want to know, wait a minute, Broku, did you have ja, Jao Dragon? I did. I sold that one last year. And <laughs> thank God I did. The guy did not like that figure. I only bought him because I needed a Caliber placeholder in my collection. But now that I have this guy, I'm so sad. I'm way more satisfied because this Caliber... It's way better than Jao Dragon. Jao Dragon has a cool design, yes, but personally, I prefer Jaku's Dragon design more than Jao Dragon's. But that's just me. So, this figure is Premium Bandai, and it came out, well, again, around the same time as Saber. And we all know how Saber is. Just gonna say that I do not like Saber. I think Saber is, well, mid and not the best comic show. From Weiwa, personally, I prefer Geats or well, hell, Gachar. Even though, even though I think Gachar, okay, but still. So, okay. Caliber, the big purple man himself. Jesus Christ, this lighting. Hold on. Ooh. Okay, much better. The big purple man himself. Oh boy, this is really fun. Okay, first off, how is the articulation wise? Well, let's move it sort out of the way. Articulation wise, he's actually pretty fun. My friend Psycho basically said this in the best way possible. He's he's basically just a premium version of Brave Dragon Saber. Because same articulation, same scope, and all that. Even though this guy's scope is way better than Saber. Because I hate my Brave Dragon Saber figure. <laughs> if you watch my review on that figure, then you know why. But, uh, but uh, how good is he for, how good is he for articulation? Well, okay. So, here's the thing. With this dragon, with this dragon shoulder piece in the way, you can't like... You can't put his arm up fully because, well, this will snap and break, and you don't want that. You don't want that not one bit for your figure. So be careful you're doing that. Also, his neck is on, like, a rotation joint. Just be careful with how you spin it because, because it can also it can also uh, affect this because this can get in the way for this and that and that and this. Uh, well, these antlers right here, these horns can snap. Same for this head, so be careful with that. But for posing him, he's actually pretty fun for posing, to be honest. I think this is my, I think this is by far my favorite figure art from from the Saber line. Even though I do not like all the Saber figures. Well, actually, no, I'll take that back. I like Sabella. I like uh, I like that figure the most because because well, she one of my favorite figures of twenty twenty two.
do And yeah, yeah, you can pose them a lot. Again, just be careful with this sort of piece because you don't want to break it or anything. If I don't want to know, can I? Can you put him in the female caliber pose, aka Sophia's pose? Because well, Sophia is technically the current caliber in the Conway franchise. Yes and no. It depends if you prefer. If, 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 if it depends if you want this caliber to be. Yo, there's like, how many fucking users for Caliber are there? Like, four? I think four users for Caliber. There's Kento, his dad, Kento's friend. Oh, well, Kento's dad's friend. I forgot his name. And there's Princess Sophia. There's four users. So you can you can make this be any one of those users. For me, personally, I'm just going to go with... For me, I'm just going to go with the one that... I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pretend this is Kento's dad's friend, the second caliber user from the show, the one that fought Toma and the others. So yeah, also just to tell you this, uh, no like no no, no like no like freaking smudges on the back or anything, which is good. Good paint articulation, good scope. This uh plastic skirt isn't bad as saber, which is which is uh good for me by the way. And, uh, oh yeah, his Wonder Ride book does not pop out on, like, f the freaking Saber figure arts. Freaking, uh, Saber, Blades, or Espada, which is good, by the way. But I will say this, just like with every other Saber figure art, there's an issue with this guy. And I think you know what I'm gonna talk about. Let's talk about... Let's talk... Let's go to the accessories, shall we? Because, oh boy... Now he doesn't come with a lot of accessory because well at when the time when, when Bandai uh, at last uh, sorry I can't talk sorry at the time when Bandai was making the Saber figure let's just say that Bandai was being cheap for for accessories and uh okay do you see anything different I hate this. Do you see anything different about Do you see anything different about this hand? Oh oh you gotta ask where's the black part for this? Well, see that's the issue. In order for you to in order for you to change these hands and uh in order for you to uh in order for you to change these so called hands for the figure Tamashi only gave you two, uh, two pieces. These pieces, right? Oh, um, I'm going to try to blur that. These pieces right there. They, they only give you two for all the Saber figure arts. Except for Reika. But still. So, now you guys, why is that? Because, because at the time, Tamashi was being cheap. They're trying to save money. And, uh, well, that was a big fucked up. <laughs> That's for sure. So let's go on to accessories because yeah. Here we have his two fists. Here we have his two fists. Here we have another open hand because because he he only got his one open hand, his one grab hand for his sword. Here we have another, uh, I don't know what the heck to call this hand, by the way. <laughs> Here we have another open hand as well. And, uh, this piece originally came on the figure, but uh, I swap it out for the sword uh, holder because I really want my copper to hold his sword and my pictures. So, yeah. And he also comes with a mini book that, well, he used in the show. I think this is the book for Dezass. Yeah, I think this is the book for Dezass right here. Yeah, I'm surprised that they didn't make Dezass figure go with Ren, even though Ren's not a good written, even though Ren's not a good character in Saber. I'm just gonna be honest there. But uh, anyway, yeah. 
So, since this is a Saber video, oh lord, so since this is a review, and the first review of 2024, or almost a dream, since this is the first review of 2024, and well, this is a video about Saber and all characters, let's compare them to other Saber figure arts, because, oh boy. Here we have Brave Dragon. I I hate the I hate the fucking Wonder Ride books. Here we have Brave Dragon. Line okay, hold on, step though. Okay, hold on. This Lion Zenki Lampo Alagine. Oh, oh, come on, Kento. Why you gotta be like that, boy? All right, to, all right just to compare them with, with these four in general. They all stand pretty well, even though Tomas is pretty tall. Even, even though Tomas is the, is the most tall because, well, his actor, his actor is that tall of a person. Like, out of the way while protagonists... Thomas actor, the most tallest out of them all. Right next to Ace, in my opinion. Because dude's that tall. Like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm gonna guess this actor around like six something. Because my height, I'm 6'3. So I'm gonna guess Thomas actor is around the exact same height. Which, if that makes sense, then fair enough. But, but yeah. But yeah, he's still pretty good with all of them. Even though I hate Saber Red Bernie Passing. This like this uh this looks so good. This looks so good right there. If anyone want to know, yes, I have videos on all these guys on my channel. You can go back and watch them. Hey, he is with a uh, with uh, with Yuri. Oh yeah, by the way, my Yuri came in yesterday. He he here for both. Buster. Hey, fuck it, why not? Here he is with the girl herself. Reka. Not bad. Wow, I'm sorry that I have been like trouble with this. Much better. But overall, yeah, he's still playing with all of them, even though Ray Cat is short out of them all. But still, I digress. Here he is with the SA figure art Dark Vader from the from Kenobi. Here he is with the with the black series Shin Hattie. A.K. Shin Batty, ha ha. You know what was funny though? I love the fact how yeah shows for this. I love the fact how yeah shows the lightsaber is orange. We yeah in the promotional pictures of this figure, it was freaking red. Okay, I'll talk about Shin Hatties by the way, not Vader's, but but I just thought that was funny. It's okay. Let's move, let's move out of the way. Yes, I will do. I will do a video on Shin Hattie, but I'm, but I'm going to wait until I get my hands on Balin Skull. I'm just waiting for Amazon. To, I'm just waiting for like freaking Amazon to ship him. And yes, I will do my review on Vader as well. Do not worry about that. Here he is with the Black Sir Murdoch, Murdoch. This freaking character from the Soka series. And here he is with the uh, SA Figure Arts Super Saiyan Goku. The brand new one. And, uh, yeah, overall, he's staying pretty well with them. So, overall, what are my thoughts? I love this guy. Saber, Saber is not my favorite, right? Saber, Saber is by far one of my least favorite shows on Toku. Not the big fan of it when it came out and when, when it ended. 
Looking back at it, I can say that the Saber figure line could have been so good if Bandai wasn't being so cheap and uh, only give us two like two like uh, pieces for the fists for the, for the hands because that's just annoying to be honest. And I know SA's have upgraded made multiple versions of these of these parts, but uh, unfortunately, I did not buy them because well, I didn't have money on me at the time, so yeah. But yeah, my but yeah. Overall, I like Caliber. He's a good figure. Hell, it's, if I gotta be honest, I think I think it got I think this gotta be one of my favorite figure arts that, that came out for Tomashi. Him, Comrade Gene, and many others. And yes, I am gonna make a video this year of ranking my top ten favorite essay figure arts that I bought that I play with, and have fun with because Caliber's in Caliber's in that list now. He's in that list. I love this figure so much. Posing him, taking pictures of him. I just love the vibe that I get from him. I also love the suit with Bernie Passion. Cut purple is my mom's favorite color, but hit thing. I like the color purple, but for me, for me, black is my favorite color. And all this purple and black and gold in here. Representing my representing my high school colors a little bit. But still. Thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, follow all my social media in the description, subscribe to my channel, put the notification button on. Your boy trying to reach 1,000 subs this year. We got, with you guys' help, we can do that. So, yeah, follow all my social in the description. And, uh, yeah, thank you all for watching. And for those who want to know, is this figure Premium Bandai? Yes, yes, he is. But he's pretty cheap to find it on the aftermarket. So, if you use websites like Shigura, Ami Ami and Mandarake, or like, or like, if you can find him like at like at any local store that sell P Bandai stuff, they all good. I will say my only issue with this guy is this. I will say this. Another issue. I will say this. This another issue with this guy. For posing him, be careful with this because when I first opened him, I accidentally hurt myself with with these spikes in the back and uh. Yeah, yeah, that did not, yeah, that, that did not end well with me. Don't worry, no blood came out. That's good. Just be careful because these things are spiky. Just like with Shadow Moon, I, I warned everyone last year. So yeah, be careful with these spikes behind there. But besides that, that's all. Uh, my name is, my name is Boku, and I'll see you guys in the next video, which will be, well, I know that one with you next, but, uh, <laughs> But I'll think. But I'll think of something. But yeah, I'm out. Enjoy the pictures. Have a nice day. Bye.